What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlook here. So we're talking about Jordan Peele's Nope in this video here again today and talking about the runtime that it may be having as it pertains to, of course, how long of an adventure will we be diving into as it pertains to that movie when it releases later this summer. And as we all know, it had some footage shown at CinemaCon last week and it did confirm the huge mystery surrounding what's going on in the movie. There were some other things shown uh, that were disclosed in a couple of articles about security cameras, UFOs, and people disappearing from around that ranch that we know is going to be a big um location i guess as far as like the plot unfolding in the movie with kiki palmer's character and daniel kalua's character and jumping into again what i want to talk about mainly here is the runtime that is supposedly going to be for the nope movie and this is coming to us from viewer non those of you who know viewer non and watch a lot of my screen videos or just someone who is aware of who viewer non is know that he kind of or they rather put out some reliable information usually for the most part and he or they are claiming that someone close to the film told them that nope is pushing two and a half hours long now the movie being two and a half hours long i would think is the final cut going off of the fact that the movie has already had footage shown and at this stage if you're relaying information like that to someone you sh wouldn't i guess necessarily be talking about the f the rough draft you're talking about the final cut so if the movie in and of itself is actually two hours long let's just say then i think that's longer than get out i think that's longer than jordan peele's us and that would be his longest horror movie out of what he has gotten or what he has produced and put out there so in terms of the runtime i think us is like two hours and one minute maybe i think so they would have to at least be let's say two hours and it's just longer than a minute <laughs> two hours and six minutes would be longer than us you could do two hours and 10 minutes two hours and 15 but if it's something that's just longer in the sense that it has a lot more narrative to explore and you have a two and a half hour long horror movie uh that's also going to be of course relying on some comedic aspects then you have enough time to dive into this narrative you have enough time to put on a put on a tale of mystery put on a tale of terror put on a tale of just awe-inspiring visuals from what i'm seeing and just another thought-provoking trip into the mind of jordan peele especially if it is gonna push two and a half hours long let's say it actually is two hours and 20 minutes so this gives you enough time to dive into those two characters that we've seen daniel kalua's character and kiki palmer learn about what they're doing learn what their connection to each other is a little bit more learn how uh their lives have been impacted by what's going on learn what they're doing to prevent what's happening around their ranch to happen from them and also of course dive into what the social commentary aspect is here what's going on why are these beings here what do they want are the humans the enemies actually is this really a commentary on human reactions in in panic in or human reactions in extreme scenarios in which they're all panicking and not thinking rationally which i think it's going to have some type of inspiration to do with that it could be again have something to do with commenting on immigration i've seen people talk about that it could have something to do with commentating on some other conspiracy theories going on out there that relate to like human and like animal um alien hybrids i think i've saw like some theories like wild theories like that out there i don't think they're gonna do that and i know i've also talked about the notion of maybe these these beings have been here since day one and this is now just an in-game plan that's going to be revealed i know we've talked about the fact that kiki palmer originally i believe was reported as being the villain in the movie so you have a two hour and a half movie possibly that's enough time to dive into all that wackiness all that craziness and get to understand what's going on i hope they take the approach of where we don't under we don't get directly told concretely what's happening it's more so of a you know you can take all of these things that we're showing you and go to your own conclusions no matter what the conclusion is they're all correct and they're all backed up by evidence in the film when you rewatch it backed up by foreshadowing backed up by dialogue from certain characters i just appreciate when a filmmaker does that more than having to tell you exactly what's going on start to finish point a point b point c this is how it all works because i feel like when you do that also you do start to now i think go into some plot hole territory 
only because of the fact that now they're, you're saying there's only one concrete thing, but then going back to the movie, going back through the movie, that one concrete thing kind of kind of crumbles, kind of like how us started to crumble with some of its logic. So if he takes an approach here where it's more so just open to your own interpretation, I think that this would be a much better movie than us. Not that us was a bad movie. It did just have a lot of logic errors in terms of how when everything was explained, certain things fell through the cracks. The narrative itself started to become undone, but everything else still held up with that movie. So if this movie is actually two and a half hours long, I think we could be in for a Jordan Peele epic. We could be in for maybe his best movie out of the three when it relates to Get Out, Us, and then Nope. We could see him possibly get heralded as, again, one of the greatest modern horror filmmakers out there. Join off of the way he would then have three back-to-back, -back, I guess you could say, hits. Uh, critically, financially, not to say that Us didn't get some negative reviews. I think Get Out was, of course, more well-received. He's had a hand in a lot of other IPs like Candyman. I think he co-wrote that one. Uh, I think he had a hand in The Black Klansman as well, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. So if this is indeed a two hour and a half long movie, then that definitely will give us enough time to explore these characters. And I just hope they don't waste a runtime like that. Don't don't have a two and a half hour long movie where it's not very character driven but knowing Jordan Peele and how his movies have been I can expect us to have very character driven narratives here with us getting a chance to grow invested in their progressions whether they're likable characters or not you at least can sit down and be compelled to see their journey and how it starts and where they end up and have some replay value the opportunities there as you as it pertains to things you might not have caught the first time you watched it but now that you know what's going on and now that it's been explained you feel inclined to rewatch the movie so a lot can be accomplished in that runtime and knowing Jordan Peele I think he's going to utilize that time very well he did it with us so if it is indeed longer than us then I just think he's going to be in his bag here I'm not saying this is going to be a perfect movie I'm also not going to say that this is actually going to mean that this is indeed what the runtime will be it could be trimmed down to something much lower uh just back being two hours exactly but let me know what you guys think about the runtime potentially being two and a half hours long down in the comment section below and what you think should be accomplished in that runtime if you haven't already subscribed turn on post notifications you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to limit us any movies news or reviews like me to cover any future light of my guys i will see you in the next video